I am so excited to report that uh, as of last night, February 1st, 2022, uh, Gravenhurst Against Poverty and the Gravenhurst Coldest Night of the Year has raised over $100,000. It's, it's mind-blowing. It's amazing. Uh, our original goal was to do $75,000. We raised that uh, to $100,000. We thought, okay, we can get a little bit more. Uh, and then in eight days, we hit that target. So uh, we're 25 days from the event still. Uh, the walk will be happening Saturday, February 26th. Uh, we're really excited to see where we can really take this fundraising and how much we can really raise. And talk about the group. I mean, Graven Rivers Gets Poverty. This is going to help them tremendously. Absolutely. There, there are three pillars of service, uh, supporting those who are faced with food insecurity, uh, and, uh, as well as being faced with transportation barriers and those dealing with mental wellness. Uh, this, this money is going directly towards supporting those three pillars. Um, GAP, together with their 200 plus volunteers, feeds over 600 people uh, every week here in our community. Um, and as GAP begins to look to the future and possibly having a, a community hub, a physical space here in downtown, um, and what that will look like and all of the amazing things that GAP will be able to do for our community, this money and these resources, it's vital. For those who uh, like to win things or, or remain in first place, Gravenhurst is now first overall in the country out of 167 participating locations. We're first overall in total fundraising, which is amazing. Population slightly over 13,000 to be doing that. Uh, so if you're motivated by winning and being the top team, there's that. Uh, and of course, if you're motivated by uh, when you do good, you feel good, uh, this is the perfect time to do that. So for those who are more comfortable and wish to participate virtually, they can build their own route and walk wherever they like and participate that way. Uh, we are excited to announce that we do have a location for the in-person component of the event. Um, so those familiar with the Muskoka Wharf, uh, the Lions Pavilion will be where people show up on the day of on Saturday, February 26th. Uh, they'll be able to check in, get their toques if they've hit their fundraising targets, and there's still plenty of time to get involved. So.